Let's learn about navigation and the back button. Android users are familiar with the general behavior of the back button. In most cases, it's obvious that they can return to the previous screen by touching the back button. However, there are cases where you might need to add a save or cancel button. For example, let's say a user starts adding details for a new contact, but then decides to go back to the All Contacts screen. What happens to the partially entered new contact details? By implementing a cancel button to knowingly discard changes, there's no ambiguity regarding what happened to the new contact started. Let's take a deeper look at navigation. The term navigation describes the overall architectural pattern of your app. It describes how each activity relates to every other activity and which paths the user can take between activities. The word navigation is also used to describe a transition from one activity to another within your app. In this example, we see the navigational path to choose a contact, view the contact details, and then call the contact. Android devices have a back button implemented in either their hardware or software that returns the user to the previous activity. The intuitive meaning of the back button is to move to the previous activity. Android apps use several common navigation patterns. Stack navigation is for standard forward and backward navigation. This is probably the most common because it's relatively easy to implement, intuitive for users, and sufficient for small-scale apps. Tab navigation is for when you have only a few user interfaces to switch between and the content is related. This pattern works well when all tabs are visible simultaneously. This makes it easy for the user to discover the full extent of your app's capabilities. Drawer navigation is a great option for creating navigation menus that take up a minimal amount of screen space when collapsed, but offer a robust interface when needed. Drawer navigation can handle complex navigation scenarios better than tabs. This course focuses on stack navigation. Our navigation course covers other patterns. Stack navigation records the sequence of activities in a stack to enable the user to return from any activity to the one that started it. To put it another way, stack navigation is the process of moving forward from one activity to another and then back to the previous activity when the new one is complete. In this example, we have an app with several articles. When the user touches an article, he navigates forward to an article details activity. When the user touches the author's byline, he navigates forward to the author details activity. When the user finishes reading about the author, he touches the device's back button to return to the article details activity. When the user touches the back button again, he navigates back to the original list of articles.